So I got these because they were interesting, number one. And number two, there's a bunch of stuff for Daffodil Days in American. Ugh. <gasps> Today, we will go to the Reese store. I want to try and film in there. It's bright, but it's finally cold. Hey, Chi Chi. Yeah. So we made it to the Reese store. I stopped at USPS first because I had to send out five orders. Um, I'm kind of tired today, but I have a really good feeling I'm going to find something in the Reese store. So let's go look. Okay, so here we go. I'm going to show the colors for the day, which is there. You get a voiceover in the beginning because there were people around and it was very quiet in here. Uh, I just wanted to see what brand this was. I've never heard of it, and they're selling it as a whole set, so pass. <laughs> These were really cool looking. They felt kind of cheap, though, and there was no mark, so I didn't even, I don't know. I still have no idea what this is. I end up getting this. I show it off later more, but I <laughs> it just was a cool piece. I still have no idea. Beautiful floral I have a couple of these that I couldn't sell that I actually have um, on display at home. <laughs> this was cool, but I saw that they sell mostly with um, two, and I did not want to clean that. <laughs> these cups were really pretty, but they don't sell very well, if I remember correctly. I did look it up. It's the PFAZ brand <laughs> that I can't say. And on the other side, the little end cap over here. I thought this was really pretty. I didn't look for a mark too closely. It was heavy. I'm kind of wishing I had looked a little more or taken a Google image because it was really pretty. Oh, these ones were shiny. Listen, I love things that are shiny and that sparkle. I thought that yellow was cool and I touched it and it was like plastic. I was so disappointed. These are gorgeous. Again, they were selling that whole set though. This I ended up having to do a little bit of research on. It doesn't sell very well. It is really pretty though. It's kind of like a milk glass look. This was here the last time I was at the restore, so I ended up buying it for myself <laughs> to put fruit in. I need more fruit storage at home. <laughs> this, oh, you'll we'll, we'll see that later. Um, this is their little Halloween section up in the front. I really liked this. It was a metal sign, but it was newer. And it had like some chipping of paint and stuff. So it wasn't, I didn't even look it up. Oh, my OCD is about to take over right here. My brain told me you didn't hold it long enough. You didn't get the right feel. <laughs> These were surprisingly um, heavy, but they still look like those cheap ones from like Big Lots or something. So I put it back. Obviously. Oh, immediate. Oop. Oh yeah, I had to move my <laughs> cart slow. I knew this was vintage. It ended up, I think it was an air freshener. There's a dead spider in there. Disgusting. This guy was kind of cool. He was extra glazy, but he had a lot of stuff missing. He's chipped. No mark on that that I saw, but I didn't really look that hard. Okay, there's no one around me now. It's just really quiet here for the most part, and I don't like talking in front of people. What the heck? Uh oh, this guy's interesting. McDonald's toy. This guy looks like he's missing a clock. Mm -hmm. Yes. Hmm. Unbranded. What is? This is kind of pretty. Someone did this. Okay, so I'm still learning. So I take a bunch of stuff that I think is interesting and I put it in my cart to do research on. I don't know this brand. This has a brand on the back and I do decent with trivets. Okay, I keep adding stuff. Look at this, F.B. Rogers Silver. And this is half off today. It's anthropology. 
Also, this says baby. This is so interesting. This is heavy. Interesting. Payless. <laughs> uh. I already looked this guy up. He's not very popular, but he's very cute. Do I see an old world Santa Claus back here? Ooh. I'm gonna look at that. Rays. Oh. This guy. I'm gonna look it up even though it's chipped. Let's see chippies. Now I get to look through here. Mmm. Mmm. Not looking into that. Look what else I found. I had to get it. I think this is supposed to have a top on it. Crock shop, Santa Ana. Getty Blue. Ooh, a nice decanter. What? It's like resin. That's If you like my videos, like and subscribe. I'm home now. I'm about to eat an apple. And um, I didn't um, finish filming in the restore like the rest of the stuff that I got or anything. But I'll go through it real quick because I have it out in the living room. I have to unpack it all anyways because I got a lot of breakable stuff. So uh, I'll show you everything I got. It'll be like a quick thing. And then I was also getting kind of antsy because <laughs> this guy was behind me. And he looked at me and he's like, are you a reseller? And I was like, yes. Then I asked him, I said, are you a reseller? And he's all, no, I'm a prepper. And I was like, like, end of the world? <laughs> because I need to get started on that shit too. <laughs> then he started talking to me about religion and I was like, nah, I'm out, dude. I'm gonna... So I, I kind of stopped using my phone and it really, I didn't plan very well either because I didn't bring my anchor to charge it. it if you like my videos, like and subscribe. We're going to speed run what I got. Don't mind my beanie hair. <laughs> this is the most expensive thing I bought. It's like a sunflower decanter. Oh, it's so pretty. It was $15.50. I got this guy. He's like a little drum. I don't know exactly... Oh, yeah, right there. And it's got this little thing in it. Oh, I got this just because I liked it. <laughs> this brand is Ashley Manor. And the frames go for some money. But um, I didn't see the one with the awards. So I got that. I got a trivet. 
So I've done okay with trivets, like I said earlier, but this actually had a brand on the back. It says seven star and some of these have sold this brand. I have, didn't see this exact one, but this needs to be cleaned. Other than that though, now this guy I did look up and it's a decent selling frame, but it's usually for like a Pooh Bear. It's called Sharp Sharpente, maybe? <laughs> but I thought this was just adorable because it's like a moonlight uh, cowboy or cowgirl. There's no face though, which is real creepy. See, it's just all painted. <laughs> a little cactus, right? Yeah, a little horsey. I just thought that was so cute. He gave these to me for 50 cents. It says, um, I don't really know. Where is it? Ah, yes. Daffodil days. And I was like, what's that? And then it says, um, American Cancer Society right there. So I got these because they were interesting, number one. And number two, there's a bunch of stuff for Daffodil Days and American, uh, <laughs> American Cancer Society that has sold their like bears. And I didn't see any glasses. So I thought, why not? Interesting find. This, I didn't really see anything specific, but I just thought it was absolutely gorgeous and it was half off. And look at this pattern. And it's clean too. Usually stuff like this around my area is so thrashed. Oh, like look. This is like a condiment thing I read. I don't know. Again, half off a dollar fifty. 188 stainless steel Japan. This is in pristine condition too, so oh I got this because I have a couple of other little hobnail. I think uh, candle holders maybe like kind of collecting them to sell them in a lot because I, I like them. Um, this was only 50 cents. Very cute. Again, in like perfect condition. I gotta peel all these tags off. This is from Anthropology. Had to have. Beautiful, adorable, gorgeous. Um, I didn't see this specific one. Again, I didn't do a bunch of research. Blech. But I thought this one was really cool. The round one. I don't think that's old chocolate smell, but it looks like it has like caramel stuck right there. I'm going to have to clean that off. This guy, funky, fun, had to get him. I saw some listed, I think for like $50. I don't even know if they sell, but again, when things are like extra funky, I have to get them. I don't even know what he charged. Oh, just kidding. He was only, only two fifty. Come on. Look at this guy. Like, look how gorgeous that is. His little peats. Who knows when I'll get this stuff listed because I have such a massive pile of stuff to get listed. From my, my fill a bag $5 sale, fill a bag for $5 sale, I ended up going both days in a row and I think I got five bags each day. And I think all of that's waiting to get listed too. I do think I might be making a um, Instagram for stuff I find that's like really cool or I want to kind of like showcase. And that's going to be called Moog's Mercantile. And that's it for now. Now I got to go do dishes. See you next time. Time to listen to K-pop.